within the first 50 feet, I think. I, I just stood there. Didn't want to move forward. I was so scared. Apparently, this is Tucumcari Mountain. It's about 7 o'clock, and the sun is just starting to come up. <laughs> she jumped. This isn't allowed at home. Nope. In the meantime, poor Willow. She doesn't have any desire to do it. We kicked her that habit when we first got her a long time ago. After she jumped up on the kitchen sink. And on our bed a couple of times. <laughs> What are you looking at? Nothing yet. <sighs> Seven o'clock and it's still dark as can be here. <laughs> Good morning. Just did a couple of morning chores. And the camp sound, campground is coming to life. It's amazing to me how many people get up super, super early to get out and get going again. Our dogs get us up fairly early, of course, but I think we're kind of sleep in people nowadays. We used to get up early, like four o'clock every day when we did 
our radio morning show, so it feels good to sleep in. But several rigs have already left, and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. And uh, I haven't even had coffee yet. <laughs> so it's a cold one in New Mexico. We're supposed to get down to like 21. I can see my breath this morning. We put in that little heater and it worked out awesome. Um, helped, helped with the chill big time. We just have to find places where we can plug in so we're not draining our battery so much. So I think that's what we'll continue to do. We're still kind of on the fence whether we stay here another night and cool our jets or maybe move on to another place. So time will tell, but good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> well, we're about ready to uh, head out, continuing our trek west. It is still uh, freezing. Yep. We're at uh, about 4,000, feet and it got down into the 20s last night. So uh, the nation still gripped in this weird Arctic cold blast all the way down. Polar vortex. Wind oh, is that what it is? Something. Something like that. <laughs> now, all the way north, all the way down to the, almost the Gulf of Mexico. So there's really no escaping it. So uh, we're still- We just have to deal with it. Dealing with it. We had the space heater, thankfully, that worked like a champ, kept us uh, warm last night with the temperatures down. So uh, thanks to KOA here and to come carry, gave us our first morning cup of coffee. Yay! So, uh, so we're ready to go. We're gonna tool around <clears throat> to, to, uh, to, what is it, to come carry? Tool around to come carry, uh, <laughs> just to see what's here. And uh, let you work it all out there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, by then maybe we will. So uh, let's just check out the town for a little bit, then we head on 40 west. Correct. Thank you. Goodbye. Get your kicks, baby, on Route 66. Right there. Way past the Tay Day, but it's still cool.
architecture of this railroad station here at Tucumcari. Beautifully maintained and restored. Gorgeous. say they have everything so we're gonna go find out. David Rocket. Hey, Mr. Walker and get some turquoise ears. What do they have? They have a doorbell boat lock. Oh yeah. This they must be the guy's stuff. Glasses. It's a mini USB fan. What? Fucking six. Fireworks. Lots of fireworks. And yes, you can buy the buffalo.
Hi girls. They have a number of tent sites here that are partitioned off. So you have your own private little area to sort of. Quite a few of them here, five tent sites. They have a laundry room that's open 24 hours a day. I think I should do two of them on each of these. Let me open it. All fresh and clean. I am holding my breath. There's these cool little signs here. Some really cool effects along here. I talked to a gentleman who had completed the trail and he hadn't seen any snakes. He saw a jackrabbit, he said. I think I'm getting close to the end. I hope. I'm scared to death. I saw Hawaii when we were there. I'm trying to stay to the center of the trail. <laughs> it's been cold at night, but it's warm today. About 63, so I thought maybe they might be out. I'm almost to the end. Here's another one. There's all this vegetation that I would think they would be hiding in. JK told me to listen for rattles. I've not heard anything yet. I don't see any snake holes. This is hard for me. <laughs> I have just a little bit left and it's wondering what's in there. I thought I was going to end here. Shoot, I've got to go all the way down here yet. Cool facts here. Oh, mercy. Well, I did it. I was crippled <laughs> within the first 50 feet, I think. I, I just stood there. Didn't want to move forward. I was so scared. Almost turned around. But I got it done. How long was it? It was just a little bit of a loop. It wasn't long, just all the things that you could encounter that you don't know. It was the fear of my head. 
Oh my goodness. Once in a while when we pass across Route 66, it's fun to take part in the nostalgia of it. Yeah. One day we'll do the whole thing, but yeah. um, this time we're just kind of passing through on I-40. I'm on our way to California, so uh, we're just going to take bits and pieces of it as we can do it, and we've never been here before, so this yep. is fun. Yeah, right there you can hear the traffic. That's historic Route 66, so we're going to cruise the strip. Get our kicks together. Early morning, New Mexico, uh, 18 degrees outside right now. It's about um, 7 o'clock, I think, and a beautiful, clear sky, sunrise coming up over the campground. Uh, thankfully, we we're using the heater here, and we've got the van turned on, keeping things warmer noticeably warm in here if you go outside so who doesn't have a little tree deodorizer in your van especially when you're spending so much time in here right so Kim is off getting washed up and then uh, this KOA offers free all-you-can-eat pancakes for breakfast so I'm all over that Touchless pancake maker. Wave your hands. It's not waving. There we go. Oh, yeah. Here's one. <laughs> Oh. 
It's about seven o'clock and the sun is just starting to come up. Cool jet trails. Um, trying to get ready here early. So we're gonna disconnect the power. And so we don't drive off with the cord dangling. And Kim's inside getting ready. We get the dogs fed and we're heading to Arizona today. So wanted to get an early start. Scenic historic marker, and then it's got the New Mexico sign. 